Welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't been here before, welcome. Make sure if you do like this video before you leave to hit subscribe at the bottom of the screen. I would really, really appreciate that. Also, if you want to get notified for future videos, make sure you hit the bell. So I'm so excited to be doing this video today. This is going to be kind of a mini review um, on a product I literally just received, but I swatched all the shades and I'm going to insert swatches during the video. So stay tuned for that if you want to see how these swatch. But this, of course, oh, I've been seeing this online and I watched Nikki Tutorials do a video on this palette. I literally, the story behind this, I did not want this palette when I seen it. I was like, nope, I would never wear those colors. Like, it's just not for me. But a lot of times when you see just a sample, like a photo when it first released, like before it releases or a sneak peek, the pictures aren't super crisp or the, they're just not clear enough for you to really know what the shades look like. You really can't tell until you see them swatched. I watched, long story short, I watched Nikki Tutorial swatch this palette and I just, I was like, okay, I need that. The colors are gorgeous. They look so good in the eyes and they look so different up close and when someone was putting them on than when I had initially seen the photo of them before they released. So the palette that I am talking about is the Magic Palette. So this palette is so huge, like like literally the size of my head. I have never gotten a Juvia's Place or Juvia's Place palette before. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Woo! I have been so curious and I was like, I really want to get one. And when I seen this, I really love the packaging. Um, really nice. It's kind of nice, sturdy cardboard. And I would like it had a mirror. It doesn't, but it has a cool design. So this is the inside of the palette. <gasps> look at that. Just take a minute and look at those colors. Honestly, guys, if you've seen these in person, they are just beautiful. So up on the top, there's a lot of warm colors. There's some cool top colors. The colors I love, so I'm going to go through each color and kind of just tell you about some of the colors. So I love this palette. I swatched them all. They feel really nice. Um, the shimmer shades, these ones up here, the shimmer metallic-y shades, are the best in the palette. I think they swatch beautifully like you barely have to touch these i really prefer i think you would using like a cream shadow brush or using your fingers is really the best way to apply these or just wetting a brush if you want to get the most intense look out of these but honestly guys these are so beautiful i would highly recommend this to anyone the shade up here is so pretty it's kind of like a gold green color and that one's called nubia it's just stunning stunning swatches beautifully and I'm going to insert swatches at the end of this so you can see both sides of the palette and then also we have here Zakaya hopefully I'm saying that right it's kind of like a burnt orange shade really pretty um these do feel a little more um like rough to touch but they swatch really nice and I think they'll blend really nice on the eyes I need to try that though so I'll keep you posted I did pop one on just kind of the, my lid just to try, but it's not really a full look, so I really need to play with this. Um, this one up here, ugh, this is one of my favorites. This one is O oh Sun. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. And then the one down here is Zubia, this pink. I know I'm skipping one, but this one is kind of like a duo chromey shade. It's really stunning, really stunning. And then this one is a great color to just put all over your lid to kind of set everything in place before you start your shadows. This one, Nana, is such a good, I think it's going to be a perfect like crease shade um, for, for you guys to get started. So that really kind of transition shade. Really nice. Really nice. It's going to be such a good transition shade for you guys. And then we have Buran, Burano. Buranu? I'm not sure. This one is a really pretty kind of bronzy shimmer shade. Really pretty. Um, we have Goji, beautiful kind of corally red shade. Oh, it's more coral. It, it pulls more cor coral. Why can't I say coral today? <laughs> it pulls more cor coral. Sorry, guys. And then down here, oh my god, this is a duochrome shade as well. It's kind of got a shift of blue and purple, and it's called Faso. Swatches amazing. Love it. Aja, this one is kind of like a deep 
greenish blue it's it's just stunning I can't even explain it to you um, Vi, Vi, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right either. I'm probably butchering the name of these guys. This one is so stunning. It's kind of like a bluish silver and we have a lighter one that's similar to this one. Also, these ones are all kind of shimmer shades. And then the two shimmer shades down here, there's Yara. And this one kind of has like an aqua, aqua kind of teal shift to it. And then down here we have Buzo, which so pretty these all these shades right here kind of remind me of like mermaid colors this bottom half it's just stunning and then down here is if and ye jide ye jide Ooh. now the only color i would say this color down here does not swatch as good as the rest of the palette this one is a bit patchy when i swatched it i just swatched it a few times to get full kind of to get it fully opaque but, I mean, it's a nice color, but you definitely have to build this one up. This one actually swatches pretty good. I mean, it is it is a deep color. It's kind of a blue purpley color. But this one is pretty, it swatches pretty good. This is the only one in the palette I would say it's probably my least favorite based on the swatches. But I need to try that one. Uh, what, another thing, these pan sizes are huge. Like, I don't even know how much comes in these. So, I... I unfortunately did not keep the box I actually picked this up over in Calis and I just didn't keep the box for it I it was cheaper for me to ship it to the states so that's what I did but I know you get quite a lot of product in these I mean the pan sizes are huge it's nice and sturdy and definitely this would stay together really well so I feel like you could travel with this like it's really it's really awesome so I honestly I'm going to insert swatches for you guys to look at this but and I'll keep you posted definitely on if, you know, my opinion changes, if I actually put this on my eyes and I don't like it, but I cannot see me not liking this. I actually kind of want to run out and get like all the other shades now because I love this so much, um, or all the other palettes, I should say. And I know I want the Saharan. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I see Nikki Tutorials use that one as well. I'll link her down below because I've mentioned her quite a few times. Um, but yeah, I, I... Honestly, guys, I didn't think I would want this. I'm so glad that I bought it. Um, it's stunning. The packaging's stunning. And I think these shades are a must-have for anyone that's kind of an avid makeup collector like me. So, really beautiful. The Magic Palette gives definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Like, I am obsessed. I think it's amazing. It's a yay. Ah! So excited. Love it, guys. You need to get it. Um, once again, subscribe if you haven't already. And keep an eye down below. I will post if I have in the future if I have, you know, anything else to say as far as the quality of these shadows when I'm applying them. But other than that, I love it. Um, thank you guys so much. If you have any of the other Juvia's Place palettes and you want to kind of tell me which ones you like the best, comment down below as well. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.